Demon Slayer Corps Uniforms All the members of the Demon Slayer Corps wears uniforms. The Chinese character on the back, which means Slay looks cool, don't you think? There are probably people who are watching this that would like to wear one of those uniforms. All their uniforms have a black base. But there are soldiers who change the uniform to meet their needs. With that in mind, we will be looking at the uniforms of the Demon Slayer Corps in this video. I'll also be giving information about some of the uniforms that were not introduced in the manga, so please be sure to watch to the end of the video. The Basic Uniform the soldiers of the Demon Slayer Corps get their uniform when they pass the final selection. Other than the outer uniform, they also get a white shirt, belt, and leggings. Also, it seems that only the nine pillars are allowed to wear the uniform casually. So, compared to the rest of the soldiers, their clothing is unique. The normal uniform has a large white Chinese character that means slay on the back and is made out of a special material that cannot be ripped open by the claws of the weaker demons. On top of that, that, the fabric breathes well and is hard to get wet and does not burn well. It's something that only the people selected to be soldiers can wear. Inosuke left the final selection before he got a uniform, so he doesn't have one. Let's look at the characteristics of everyone's uniforms. Tanjiro Kamado the thing that stands out most about Tanjiro's uniform is probably the green and black checkered pattern on his short coat, which is called a hauri. Actually, the checkered pattern is not just a meaningless design. Actually, this pattern, which is called an Ichimatsu pattern, represents prosperity because the same pattern continues uninterrupted. Of course, Tanjiro's earrings and the Hinokami Kagura dance were both passed down in his family. But Sumiyoshi Kamado, who was Tanjiro's ancestor, also wore the Ichimatsu pattern. 500 years before Tanjiro was born. When I first learned the secret of Tanjiro's uniform, I was very shocked. Zenitsu Agatsuma Zenitsu's Haori has a yellow base with triangles printed on it in a scale pattern. The pattern has been used all over the world since ancient times and has a meaning of protection from magic and evil. Because Zenitsu believed he was so weak, his teacher, Jigoro Kojima, probably suggested that he wear that pattern of Haori. I can see how much Zenitsu's teacher loved him just by looking at his Haori. Kanao Suyuri Though the uniform Kanao wears has the same type of black collar as a normal soldier's uniform, she wears boots instead of sandals. Her uniform, much like Genya Shinazugawa's, who we will talk about next, has more of a western design and of particular note is her skirt, which was below her knees at the beginning of the story. That skirt ended up getting shorter and shorter. The reason and the person behind that change is given in chapter 21. It seems to be the actions of the person in charge of clothing for the soldiers, Masao Maeda. Although it may be a shock to some, it seems that Kanao's skirt is actually a pair of a type of kula that are used for horse riding. Genya Shinazugawa Genya also wears a collared shirt with the Chinese character for Slay on the back. He wears a traditional pair of pants called Hakama that values the colors purple and black. Although his uniform is like Kanao's, in that it is in a western style, Genya seems to be a little more modern. Okay, now it's time to look at the pillar's unique uniforms. Giyu Tomiyoka Giyu's Hauri is separated into two parts. One part is a rust red and the other part is a torches shell pattern. This type of Hauri is called Katami Gawari. The reason he chose to wear that type of Hauri is deep. The rust red color is a keepsake of his sister, Sutako, and the tortoise shell pattern is a keepsake of Sabito. This could be because he has lived on while they have died and he inherited their intentions. Tengen Uzui Tengen is different from the other pillars because he does not wear a haori. Instead, he dresses up in a flashy way by wearing a sleeveless shirt. The reason why he chose not to wear a haori is probably because he wears his Nichirin swords and scabbards on his back. Also, that probably makes it easier for him to show off his arms. Sanemi Shinazugawa the most obvious feature of Sanemi's uniform is that he wears it so informally that it's open in the front and shows off his chest. It could be that he wears his uniform that way because he feels stress if there's anything around his neck. On the back of his haori is the Chinese character for kill. This is because he wants to kill off all the demons. Mitsuri Kanroji the feature that's most striking about Mitsuri's uniform is the fact that the chest is open widely. 
This is also something that the person in charge of uniforms came up with. But unlike Shinobu, Mitsuri had no trouble wearing it when she was told it was the normal uniform for women. However, during that time in the Taisho era of Japan, it was basically unheard of for women to show off that much skin. With that being the case, Obanai gave her knee-high socks that were the same color as the tips of her hair. She always wears those socks, so it's easy to see how their relationship is. Obanai Iguro Obanai wears a black and white striped haori over his uniform. At first glance, it looks like those colors might be taken from the color of his hair and of his snake. But there is a much deeper reason for these colors. Hachijojima, where Obanai was born, had the custom of sacrificing people to a female snake demon. Since he was the first male to be born on the island in 370 years, the snake demon took an interest in him. So he spent most of his youth behind bars. Later, with the help of the flame pillar at the time, he was able to escape from where he was being held. But unfortunately, this led to everyone in his family being killed. Driven by a sense of guilt, Obanai wears a black and white haori, which are the same colors as a prisoner's uniform. Also, in chapter 188 of the manga, when Mitsuri and Obanai meet again in heaven, his haori is not black and white, but is a pure white color. This could be because he was being depicted as having cleared his conscience and having no regret. Gyomei Himejima Gyomei wears a haori with Chinese characters that read Namu Amida Butsu, which means homage to Amida Buddha. This is due to the fact that Gyomei was once a monk for the pure land sect of Buddhism. Gyomei, who is sort of like a bugged character in a fighting game, is the strongest member of the Demon Slayer Corps and has those words written on his haori because he even wants the demons to rest in peace when they die. Muichiro Tokito Muichiro, much like Tengen, is one of the few pillars that does not wear a haori. He wears a slightly large uniform so that his arms are hidden. This prevents his enemies from seeing such things as the length of his arm or how he moves his joints. Although he does not have any leggings, I personally think that Muichiro looks better that way anyway. Shinobu Kocho Shinobu wears a haori with a color graduation that's designed like a butterfly. That haori is a keepsake from her older sister, Kanae. It's big on Shinobu because she is smaller than her sister. Also, Masao Maeda also provided her with a skimpy uniform, but without wearing it, she burned it in front of him threateningly. After that, Shinobu always gives the women of the butterfly mansion a match and oil before they go get their uniforms. There seems to be many people who think Shinobu's uniform looks good good because it fits her body type. Kyojuro Rengoku Just as we would expect from the Pillar of Flame, the legging and haori of Kyojuro's uniform both have flames printed on them. The haori does not have sleeves, but it's made so it will not fall off, no matter how much Kyojuro moves. According to the official short story, Kyojuro's haori was passed down for generations in his family, but only the people who become flame pillars are allowed to wear it. When Kyojuro's former apprentice, Mitsuri, became part of the Demon Slayer Corps, it seems that she wore the same type of haori as him. That's everything there is about the uniforms of the Demon Slayer Corps. Personally, the meaning behind Yu's Haori made a huge impression on me. What type of uniform would you like to try on? Please leave a comment and tell us about it. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. We'll be uploading more surprising videos on Kimetsu no Yaiba soon. So please be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a thing. See you next time.